Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm really glad you're here. You know, there's always something to do around here. Now that the weather's starting to change, we've been getting a little bit more rain. It's been such a, a dry summer. Well, now I'm starting to see sinkholes all over the place where they put in the septic system and buried pipes. You know, the ground was hard and dry before, but now as it gets wet, that ground's starting to kind of settle down. So I've got these sinkholes and Ann got the mower stuck earlier because she fell right into a probably like an eight inch deep sinkhole, uh, you know, the size of one of the tires. So I'm going to take the grapple off the tractor, hook up the bucket and go scrape up some topsoil and just fill that hole in. Stick around. You know, over the summer, I did something really dumb, and maybe you can relate to this, but I had my trailer hooked up, and I left my tailgate down. I had loaded or unloaded something, and I just completely forgot about it, and I took off, and every time I made a turn with the trailer, this jack would 
would come in and would bend the top of the tailgate. I felt really, really dumb doing that. And uh, my wife checked with the insurance company. Turned out we had comprehensive on the truck. It was only $150 deductible. So I got a brand new tailgate and looks as good as new. I was just so happy. That was about a month ago that I had the repair done. Guess what I did this morning? I can't believe it. I can't believe this morning. I went and dropped off the golf cart. Uh, we have a local uh, parade going on this afternoon and I let them borrow the golf cart so they can putter around. Uh, so I dropped off the golf cart, dropped off some chairs, and I left the tailgate open. I couldn't believe it. I got home and I, first I thought, did that tailgate fall down? And then I remembered, no, you left it open. So. I damaged it all over again. I can't bring myself to file another claim. First of all, I'm as embarrassed as heck. And second of all, I think they'll flag me and raise my insurance. So I think I'm just gonna have to live with it. But man, I can't believe I did that a second time. Only a month after getting the truck back. It really stinks. What's that, a close-up you asked for? Well, there it is. You can see how it just misses the tongue, but when you make turns it digs in there that's what it looks like it's still sealed with the cover on here so it's okay but I can't believe it I just can't believe it well there's one little project done and my confession for the day of what a moronic thing that was to do to leave that gate of I just <laughs> I just couldn't believe it and I still can't believe it and, you know, I wasn't even going to get it fixed the first time because I didn't think it would be covered. And, you know, luckily Ann looked into it and saw that it was covered and I thought, oh man, good deal. So I wasn't going to get it fixed the first time. So I guess it's not so bad to uh, leave it now because I don't think I'm going to get it fixed this time either. But let me know in the comments if you have ever done anything like that. I can't be the only one. I mean, it's just too easy to forget that gate is down. I don't know why they don't make a, a door ajar warning for tailgates like they do with your other doors. Crazy. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you like this video and this kind of content, please hit the like and make sure you, ouch, that's Ann out there mowing stones. Uh, anyway, if you haven't uh, followed on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, or here on YouTube, I invite you to join us. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you next time.